My name is Josh Grimes, and I am the pastor of the Commonplace Alliance Church. I'm also the manager of Avenue 209 Coffee House in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. Uh, the church started um, in 1950, the Lock Haven Christian and Missionary Alliance Church. And it was a normal church in a normal church building for about 50 years. Um, I became the pastor of that church about five years ago. So the church met on South Fairview Street for a number of years, and eventually we transitioned our model of ministry to having church in a coffee shop. So about a year and a half ago, we began to hold our Sunday morning gatherings here at Avenue 209 Coffee House. So what made me decide or came up with the idea of mixing a coffee shop with a church? One of the problems with church today is that a lot of people have had bad experiences with a traditional church. And so we wanted to try something different and fresh, something that was comfortable, as well as that would bless our community. So how did we go about planning this? Um, we started with a core group of people who were excited about the idea of having church in a coffee shop. We had about 15 people, and for, um, I would say, about a year and a half, we met at a local restaurant. And during that time, we developed a business plan as well as a, as a ministry plan. We would sit and we would count cars as they drove through town to discover whether or not there was enough traffic to substantiate a coffee shop. We would do demographic research. We wanted to put the shop in a location that was close to campus so we could tap into the student population. The planning for the church involves um, determining what was going to make our church different and unique and what our goals were and our vision, and then sticking to that. How did we go about remodeling this, this building? It was, it was quite a process. We, um, we've had a, a difficult time finding a location that was where we wanted it to be in terms of its proximity to the college and, um, and also on a downtown thoroughfare where we could get a lot of foot traffic. Finally we located a building but it was in terrible shape. It had broken windows, it didn't have a heating system, um, it was filled up with junk, um, it's, it was just terrible looking, it was horrible. But it was in the perfect location so after negotiating our, our, our lease agreement on it and getting a, a reasonable price there, we went about um, the next step of the process, which was trying to trying to, to get the zoning laws changed because we were about a hundred yards on the other side of the railroad tracks, and the railroad tracks uh, separated the downtown district from the business district, the commercial business district, and the, the mayor and the city council rewrote the laws for the the coffee shop zoning as opposed to a restaurant zoning, so we were able to to use this location. That was just the legal part of it. After that, we had to go and hire a, a contractor to come in, gut the whole place, um, and then remodel it from, from the ground up. Well, the grand opening of the coffee shop went really well, I feel. We were able to, to become a part of our downtown business district, and they came and welcomed us to the community. There was a ribbon cutting, the mayor came, um, the newspaper was there, and we just made it really clear. We didn't, we didn't um, start having church in the coffee shop for a couple of months, so we wanted to dedicate ourselves in the beginning to just running a fine coffee establishment one that focused on customer care and um, serving the best possible beverage. And we, we had a really great opening. It had live music that night and hundreds of people came to it. Well, I would say that um, the college plays a, vital important, a vitally important part in our, in our ministry model and in our business model. When school is out of session, there are probably a third less customers at the coffee shop as well as about a third less people that come to church because that many college kids uh, worship and, and enjoy coming to the coffee shop. Um, ways we've been able to, to partner with the, the college on a coffee shop level is they use us for events, cultural events, we, we hire a lot of college kids. Uh, we work on the business end with the college quite a bit. Um, on the ministry side, we work with a local, uh, with one of the college campus ministries, and so a lot of their students come and worship at our church on Sunday as well. Outreach to our community is a lot different than what you would find in a normal church environment where you have 
big dinners and potluck suppers and you go out and, and maybe have vacation Bible schools and, and that sort of thing. We view having church in a coffee shop as uh, an outreach to our community because we, the thing I love about this the most is that as I'm at the coffee shop working throughout the week, I'm making friends. People will tell you things, as, as the man who takes their coffee, they, they trust you more than if they find out that you're a clergyman. It's been a, a blessing to be able to just meet the needs of our community and to find out how people are doing in their lives, to be, become friends with, with people um, and to have an outreach that way. And then that ties in with church. We invite them to church if, if I feel that it's a, a good opportunity. What are the plans for the commonplace and for the coffee shop? Well, on the coffee shop end of things, we just want to grow our business. Um, we have plans to continue having live music events. We, we Almost every weekend, there's a band or a solo artist that comes. We plan on, um, on continuing to grow our customers and to offer the best products possible. On the church side of things, uh, our church is getting big enough now that we're starting to have to plan what are we going to do when we can't fit any more people in a coffee shop. Most churches would, would go build a bigger building, but we really can't do that. So our ideas there are to just have another church service, maybe have two church services. Um, there's, I, you know, as people come, they have kids, and what are we going to do with these little babies? Do we need to have a, some sort of child care? We're, so there's a lot of things we have to work through and try to plan. Those are some of the plans we have for the future.